All right, guys, welcome back. All right, here it is. Jurassic World Evolution 2 has finally come out on the night. And guys, oh man, I'm so excited to play this. I remember I did play Jurassic World, uh, Jurassic World 1 on my PS4. And now it sounds like I had a PS5. Dude, I'm so excited to, pl to play. Like, I wonder what new feature they did. New adventure they did. And like, the sign, sign mission with the dinosaur. Dude, it's gonna be like really nice to play. And since I got the new capture card, the 4K 60S Plus uh, Garo, uh, it is playing on HDR. So that one I'm really excited to see how I play. And man, guys, what, once I adjust the HDR, the the Jurassic World Evolution, dude, it looks so crystal dynamic now. And man, it's so excited. Are you guys ready to start and play the game? You know, I'm sure I am. And like, you guys uh, like playing uh, Roller Coaster Tycoon, uh, Zoo Tycoon, and City Building Game? This is the game for you guys to play and to enjoy. And uh, no further more, I hope you guys like to like the video and enjoy the game gameplay walkthrough video. Let's see how it goes, guys. Are you guys ready for it? Let's do it. Jesus, dude, that is bright. Wait a minute, they brought in like a new sea monster creature in the game? Dude, that is awesome. Dude, we have to check this out once we uh, first started. Oh man, guys, you know what? That was actually pretty nice. nice. I like how they did the uh, beginning of the in intro because uh, they want to expect like something new like in this game and like w one new that have that have to offer to the build. So I guess this is the starter screen of Jurassic World Evolution 2. I really like how they did a logger like it, it is like different than playing the first one. I right, guess let's see how it looks. Ah, oh, okay. So this is the screen setup. So let's adjust the brightness and the HDR brightness. Let's see how it looks. I think I'm gonna set the brightness to 18. I think that should be okay. Then for the HDR brightness, I'm gonna set it up to probably 13. That should be perfect to match. Uh, actually, let's do 14. That should be like a perfect combination with these two. All right, let's see how the uh, new uh, home screen menu is. Oh man, guys, dude, that is sick. Dude, even when the song is pretty like, damn, like pretty amazing right now. All right, let's see what I have. Challenge mode. Race against the clock to build a five-star park. Okay, that's not too bad. Sandbox mode. Build your unlimited park. Customize your experience from all. all Altering the economy to how the dinosaur behave. It's all it's all in your hands Okay, so that's cool. So I'm guessing you have a limited a little bit money now and you can build like how you want Without like losing money. So that's pretty nice Let's see what I have chaos theory. Oh, uh, you know what's crazy? That one is pretty new because they don't have this on the first one so the chaos theory Chaos Theory mode allows players to revisit period moments from the Jurassic Park and Jurassic World film and add their own marks in range of what if scenario. Oh, okay, guys, that's pretty cool. So, I'm guessing the Chaos Theory, you could choose your own disaster how you want it in the park and how, how you guys want to uh, maintain it. Oh, <coughs> excuse me. Oh, <coughs> sorry, my guys. I was chucking my own saliva. Or like, uh, how you want to save your dinosaurs. 
uh, through the disaster scenario. I think that was Kara's story A. Maybe after the ca campaign story, once we pass it, we're gonna try to do Kara story to see how it is. Alright, let's see what's new on settings on the database. Let's see what I have. Well, it seems like everything is the same from the settings. There's nothing really, there's nothing you can do to change it up. I think what I'm gonna do, guys, I'm just gonna keep like everything the same how it is. And so far, guys, it looks pretty good. Okay. Okay, that's pretty much all the settings. Nice. Alright, let's check what they have in database. Ah, oh, okay. So this is something different and new. Alright, let's check out what kind of buildings they have. I remember on the first one, I did unlock like 80 out of 145. I think that's that's what it means when I unlock it from the first one. So let's see the buildings. Oh yeah, so I did unlock this one in the first one, so that's pretty cool. So I'm guessing this one. Oh, so they do have new building in Jurassic World 2. Dude, that is nice. Because I, I don't remember, I don't recognize this building in the first one. So this is pretty cool. So guys, when we start the campaign, dude, we have to check out what, what, what those are facility are in the game. Dude, it's gonna be like so fun playing with you guys uh, for you guys to see it. Dude, that's pretty legit. So all of this one, I already unlocked. Alright, what else? Yeah, so this is a new building they build. They, they put in this game. Dude, that is really cool. Alright, what else? I wanted to also have new attraction. Let's see. Oh, wait a minute, guys. I think this one right here is a new attraction of park. Oh, man, dude, that is sick. Dude, we're gonna be having, like, so much fun in this game. Dude, I never even play, played the second one at all. This is my first time seeing it. Jesus, dude, that is awesome. We might have a new building in this game. Sweet. Dude, I wanted to even have, like, new maps. I wonder if it's gonna be, like, big or not, you know? We'll see how it goes, guys. Okay. Building upgrades. There's nothing to see over here. We probably need to unlock it to the game. Over those. Fence in the path. Oh. So maybe we might have new fences in the game. For our uh, attraction with the visitors. Hmm. That, may be, that might be really cool to unlock all of them. That's pretty sick. Sanctuaries. Oh, this might be new rocks they added. Maybe from the new map. Dude, that is nice. Uh, what else do I have? Okay. So, we did... We did building it and put a lot of information. Put a lot of Did we do that one? No, I can't even say the name right. Oh, this might be like new envi environments for the dinosaurs. Hmm, that's interesting. We have to go see, guys. Pentiologist. Oh, we might have new dig sites as well. It seems like that's all the maps we have to explore to unlock the new dinosaurs. Dude, that is cool. This might be for the fossil to find. We haven't unlocked anything yet because we haven't even started the campaign. Cause I wanted to check out the database. Uh, elements. Disease. Nothing new. I think we, I think we might have like new disease, diseases too. To uh, maintain the health of the dinosaur. We're gonna see how it plays out. Okay. Injuries. Dude, wait a minute. They can have second degree burns? No way. So, I guess that one is new too. Okay, dude, that is cool. Dude, there's so many like new stuff that uh, you can learn in this game too. Which is pretty nice. Uh, let's check out the direction universe. So, ca characters, we haven't unlocked the game yet. 
So we have to raid until we play the game. Location. Let's see what location they have. Rain even, guys. I guess the new location they have in Arizona. What? Dude, no way. Dude, that is awesome. So they have our uh, East Aurora. They have the original park, our Jurassic Park. So that's pretty cool. Wait a minute. They also have San Diego map in this game in Jurassic Park. Oh, that is legit. They also have Jurassic World. Let me see. Dude, they also have Oregon. What? Dude, I did not expect it from this game. Pennsylvania. Washington State. And California. Dude, that's pretty sick. Alright, let's see what kind of new dinosaur they have. So, this is dinosaur genome to unlock. Whoa. Dude, there's so many dinosaurs over here now. That's crazy. Oh, wait a minute, guys. This one is new. Let me see. Can we select it? No, we cannot. That one wasn't there in the first one. So they did so they did add some secrets in, into this game. Oh man dude, that is nice. I can't wait to see them. Uh what else? So we have one, two. Uh, also we seem like we had like new some uh birds in here too. Uh, I don't know what to call them guys, so I'm just gonna call them birds. Bird dinosaurs. Three, four, five, six. So I'm, I guess we have like six new sea creatures. Oh, that is cool. Dude, we are going to unlock all the dinosaurs pretty soon throughout the series. Genetic Mars, Death Valley. Oh, uh, that might be for the skins for the dinosaur. Yeah, that that's I wanted to have like new skins too. Hmm, that's interesting. Okay, guys, I th I think that's it pretty much in the database to show you. All right, guys, let's start the game and see how it is. You guys ready for it? I'm sure I am. Let's do it. Jesus, dude, Jurassic that is world. nice. That creates a dynamic look. This Woo. is where our story begins. The scientific breakthrough without any consideration of the consequences. So nature did what it does and unleashed chaos. This time, we were deeper into the illusion of control and the chaos brought something much worse. And for a moment, we remembered how precious life is. But time has a funny way of softening our memory of what it's like to lose control. And ambition. Ambition is a persistent thing. For the dinosaurs left behind, time was becoming immaterial. From miracles of science to assets destined for exploitation. Perhaps it's time to reflect on the true nature of nature. An endless cycle with one goal, survival. And this means that dinosaurs and humanity have to find a way to work out their differences. Dude, guys, they literally have the map of Arizona for our new mission. Dude, that is nice. Let's watch, guys. To us, a desert is a wasteland devoid of anything but the most extreme examples of life. But creatures once thrived in these lands hundreds of millions of years ago. Given the geological history that we're dealing with, Dinosaurs walking among the tumbleweeds isn't that much of a stretch. The current situation, where dinosaurs are running wild, is untenable to those in charge, well, those that think they're in charge. So, we're left with a problem 
or an opportunity. This is where you come in. They've ignored my warnings before, but maybe this time with you, it's going to be different. I'm willing to embrace the uncertainty. Okay, I guess an introduction is in order. I'm Cabot Finch, Assistant Director of the U.S. Department of Fish and Wildlife. I know it sounds important, because it is, <laughs> but let's not get bogged down in labels and titles and organizational flowcharts. I'll make this easy. You work for me. See? Nothing to it. <laughs> You'll be working with the experts. This is Claire Deering and Owen Grady. And yes, we have first-hand experience with the dinosaurs. I'm the former operations manager at Jurassic World. Owen and I actually helped build the park. And unfortunately, we were there to witness its destruction. And this is Owen. He works with velociraptors. You could call me a dinosaur wrangler, though officially I'm an animal behaviorist. I was just building a level of trust with them when this happens. Okay. So we'll need to get a few things in place ASAP. Start with a response facility, equipped with both a Ranger Team 4x4... And a Capture Team helicopter. Man, guys, actually looking through this map... Dude, it, lo it looks like so nice to throughout the game. Man, those details they put on it, they did like a really good job working, it out, working on it. Wow, dude, I'm pretty impressed. Dude, I'm I really, I, I wonder like how, how big is the park that we can see. I wonder if we can paint like all this area. Dude, that is really cool. I really like how they did it. That is legit. Alright, let, let's, see what, let's see what our new facility is. Uh, where is it? Ah, here it is. Operation Center. Response facility. Ranger team monitor design d dinosaur warfare and Mox park makes pig pox re repair. The capture team tranquilized dinosaur ready for relocation. Oh, okay, that's cool. I kind of like how they did the new facility as well. They're really updated from the first game too. Yeah, that is cool. Let's see how it looks like, guys. We are making excellent progress, so let's stay focused. Next step, building a backup generator, then feeding the energy it creates to the response facility, and also make sure the building is connected to the PATH network. It only does us good if it's operational. Dude, honestly, guys, the new building they boot, uh, tape, uh, they design, dude, it looks like pretty nice. I really like how to do the layer, layout. Even the new, uh, let me see, design of the helicopter and like the jeep, dude, it's really cool. I like it so far. All right, guys, let's design our path, path for our ranger team. Let's see where we're going to put it. Hey Claire, we may have trouble tracking this dinosaur from the ground, and even more trouble if we're lucky enough to find it. Then, the sensible thing is to take a capture team helicopter. You can track it from the air. See? I like the way I think. Hmm. Oh man, guys. Dude, now we have to drive the helicopter to... Okay, let me see. Capture team. Locate priority dinosaur in the surrounding area by using the campus at the top of the screen. Okay. 
Approach the dinosaur and they use triangle to switch to aim mode. Oh man, that is so cool. But in aim mode, use R1 to fire tranquilizer darts. Ooh, that looks nice. Oh man, guys. Alright, here we go, guys. Let's find our first uh, dinosaur to put it in our closure. You know what's crazy, guys? The way they make this game, dude, it looks pretty nice. Even through this. Even through the sun and with the dust storm, it's like dang. That's really cool how they did it. Dude, I'm wondering like how the other map is gonna be through the game. Cause it looks like so nice guys. I wonder how the first pers person view looks when we're, we're trying to check like the dinosaur. Let's find out and see how it looks. Oh man, dude. oh man guys, dude, this looks six view from the first person view when we shoot down the tranquilizer with the dinosaur. Oh man, that is nice. All right, guys, let's try to hit. Let's try to hit one. I copy you. We have it. Capture successful. I knew you'd do it. Never had a doubt. Really? Well, maybe one or two. Well, it's better than usual. I'll take it. Now, where do we take this dinosaur? We have the enclosure. We just need you to deliver. Hey, don't I always? Wait, uh, you don't have to answer that. What I like also too, guys, I really like how they add uh, the um, like where you need them to transport them. Like that was really cool how they added. Uh, let's transport our dinosaur to our enclosure. Oh man, dude, that's pretty sick. All right, guys, let's do it. Dude, so far with the game, it's not really that bad at all. So far, I'm really liking it. I think, guys, where well, I'm gonna place it, I'm gonna place it like right here. I think that would be like a perfect shot. Asset requiring collection. Ah, okay, guys. I think we're gonna need time control as well. So let's see. Pause. You see the. Pause time using the time control on your pad, your middle pad, to take the stocks on important moments or to plan out your facility. Okay. Accelerate time using time control to skip through the through the progress such as dinosaur transport. Moderate your usage or up accelerate time to ensure the power in your facility. Don't get out of hand. Okay, so that's not too bad. Alright, uh, I think guys, what I'm gonna do, I'm not gonna fast forward time on um, making like kind of like modern speed because I like to take my time to the park and build it and like see it grow and to experience like the first time in the game because I want to feel like how it plays. So, are you guys ready? Let's continue. I wonder how the new time, time works. Let's check it out. Oh, okay, so this is how it is. So let's see what happens when we press pause. John Dude, Hammond was that's concerned cool. about what would happen if dinosaurs lived in the wild. It adds a whole new level of challenge and perhaps opportunity. I do really like how to make it like easier to pause, play, and to make it forward or make it backwards. That's pretty nice. Alright, let's continue.
Transportation complete. Oof, I instantly recognize this dinosaur. Kind of hard to forget once you've been trapped in a room with one. We couldn't save that Baryonyx, but we can certainly help this one. There's not a lot out there for the dinosaur to consume, so we'll need a feeder inside the perimeter of that enclosure. Hungry dinosaurs make me nervous. Can't disagree with you there. All right, guys, let's check on the new environment and see how it is. Even guys, with the new layout, dude, it looks pretty nice. I really like how they did it. So, water's just the same. Videos, uh, feeders still the same. Terrain, it's still the same. There's nothing really new. Rocks, it's, it's still the same thing. What else? And to build a snow, it's still the same. But with the new layout they did, it's pretty nice. I really like how they did it. It's like something different than the first one, I believe. Alright, guys. Let's place the feeder right in the middle right here. That should be perfect. Boom. to go on this end. Copy. Okay. We need to get a full assessment of the dinosaur's health. Utilize a ranger team vehicle. Owen will help you get a status of the animal's overall welfare. Then we can plan our next move. We really need that? A plan? I mean, I've always been more of a just make it up as I go kind of guy. Tell you what. If this doesn't work, we'll try your way. Hmm, that sort of sounds like a plan. Oh man, guys, I really, I really like how they did the vehicles. That's pretty cool. All right, guys, let's check out what the Ranger Team does. Ranger Team provides the last dinosaur welfare information via a static check. Okay. Construct a Ranger post inside your enclosure so that it can cover all your species. Oh, okay, so that's pretty nice. This is something new that they didn't have in the first one. So I wonder how it is. So ra ranger team can then be assigned to patrol ranger post and we patrol status check all uh, dinosaurs in range. Oh man guys, that, that is pretty sick. Cause I remember in the first one that we had to drive all the way to a dinosaur and like uh, we had to uh, assign attacks to each one. Since we have a ranger post now, they can patrol the whole area inside of fence. So dude, that's a new feature. Uh, they put on which which is pretty nice. It would be like a lot easier to control All right guys, let's continue on Damn that is so sick guys. I wonder how this is the first person per person view. Let's do it Whoa, dude, that is nice This is like definitely the next generation of the PS5 Sick that's the headband. Lock on. Okay, that's the approach it. We didn't need that. We need the blockers. Alright, let's go guys. Dude, even the view. Dude, it's pretty cool. So we get in the water. Let's get in the water guys. Let's get a little bit closer. While we can't replicate what we had on the islands, we still have to do what we can to get the dinosaurs more comfortable with their current surroundings here in Arizona. Sunscreen and drinks by the pool? How's that sound? Are you seriously asking? Or pretend asking? Okay, Claire. How about we add some preferred terrain to their pens instead? Better? Alright guys, I guess now we need to see what the, the Bunksasaur likes in their closure. So let's see what I have. So here, here is his health. So everything else is fine. 
He just need more rocks in the enclosure. Okay. Let's put it on for him. We've got to monitor these dinosaurs more closely. That means setting up a ranger post inside their enclosure. It sounds crazy, I know, but this will work. Trust me. All right, sweet, sweet guys. Now we can put our new ranger post. Then we can apply our attacks to our ranger team to patrol the area. Dude, I wonder how big is the range. Dude, that is nice. Okay, let's see what the ranger post is about. When assigned a ranger post, a ranger team will monitor the welfare of all dinosaurs within the post radius. In addition, they will we feel nearby footage as needed. Oh man, that is like so much easier than ha having the first one. Oh dude, that is nice. The range is pretty like large as well. So they can cover the whole thing. Dude, that is pretty cool. Alright guys, I think what I'm gonna place it, I'm gonna place it like right here. Charles need the water. Boom. So now we can add a task from a ranger post from the team to them. Alright guys, let's do it. I'm getting reports of dinosaurs running freely around the facility, Claire. The reports may be accurate, but they don't paint a complete picture of our current status. Angry dinosaurs on the loose. What am I missing? They're not angry. They're simply acting on instincts. The more threatened the dinosaurs feel, the more hostile they'll become. Especially if they sense survival is at stake. But it is. Both theirs and ours. Yeah, but only we know that. Well, for now, anyway. We'll start by tranquilizing one of the dinosaurs from the helicopter and then have a transport team bring it back to the facility. Great, do it. All right guys, this one I'm gonna start my first uh, gameplay walkthrough of Jurassic World Evolution 2. And if you guys want some more, please continue to like the notification bell and hit the subscribe button for more gaming content like this. Alright guys, that's that's all for today. I'll see you guys later. Have a good weekend guys and stay safe. See ya!